Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team. It's another Friday, but it's a different kind of Friday. Usually what we're talking about is a new promo that is coming. We're so used to having promos on Fridays. This, this is the way that they usually run FIFA nowadays, is there's a promo almost every Friday, but that is not the case as far as we know today. Road to the Final is ending at 6 p.m. UK today. Those cards are going out of packs. No new SBCs or objectives that we should see. The biggest thing today that is coming out is the new season, which you can see the timer up here, kind of in the top right here, is uh, is almost over. So there's about 14 hours left when I'm recording this, but it's 6 p.m. UK. The season is going to reset, and that brings a whole new host of objectives and possibly, well, guaranteed, new level 30 players, possibly level 15 uh, storyline players. Uh, so if there's any of this stuff you want to finish up, now is the time to do it. But since we're seeing this new kind of content today, and there's not actually a promo going on, it's the week before Black Friday, a lot of people are expecting Icon SBCs. And it just makes sense, right? This would be the perfect time for EA to suck some coins off of this market, right? And take a lot of coins off of people's accounts and out of people's accounts before Black Friday, which is a huge pack promotion where they try to get people to open packs, to buy FIFA points and stuff like that. So if you're thinking from an EA perspective, this would be a perfect time to drop Icon SBCs. Now I've also heard some people mention, hey, couldn't Icon swaps come out? No, actually in fact, EA themselves said that Icon swaps will not be until December. So a lot of people were asking about new objectives to grind. I'm not entirely sure what we could see for objectives today unless there's a promo that EA is just going to drop on us for a week right before Black Friday. Um, I don't expect anything really big in terms of objectives today, but we'll see what EA has, EA has up their sleeve. Uh, there's nothing really new. I've been watching the Footwatch Twitter. I haven't seen anything yet in terms of new car designs or, or hints or anything like new packs that have been added to the code. But the biggest thing that I think people are expecting today is the return of Icon SBCs. And we're going to throw it back to look at FIFA 18. Yeah, FIFA 18. We're going to look at some of these Icon SBCs and just kind of talk about how I think they could be structured today. And if we see one of these types of SBCs or if we see a, a icon, a base icon repeatable SBC. Regardless, since the rumors are going around, I do think you're gonna see panic selling on the market today in the morning. And I'm gonna talk about that. I think it's probably gonna be a decent time to get involved because I think the content today has a higher percentage chance of being lackluster than being something way over the top and being incredible. So this, I don't know if you guys remember this, this is FIFA 18, the first three icon SBCs that we ever saw in FIFA Ultimate Team, Del Piero, Overmars, and Rui Costa. EA tweeted this out. They used to release these on Thursdays. They would release three prime, the pre, three prime icons and call it a throwback Thursday. It was a really awesome time. Now, Del Piero also was released in packs at the same time. So it was his SBC came out at the very same time. And this is also what I want to show you guys. A squad for a player like Del Piero, obviously right now, EA said that we're only going to be getting icons that are available in the game as of the time the SBC drops. So it's going to be a middle or a baby icon version that would be released today. Uh, and that's part of what we're going to talk about with the hype too. If it's a player that's like a middle or like a baby Del Piero, it would be a pretty sick SBC. And if it's priced correctly, because baby Del Piero is about a 1.1 mil card, if they price that SBC at like 800K, a lot of people might be interested in that. But if they come out with a repeatable base icon upgrade pack as well, that might be an SBC that's maybe 500, 600, 700K that a lot of people would be interested as well. And we'd see more market movements and more coins taken off the market if they did that sort of SBC. But just to kind of remind you guys of what a regular icon SBC is like, uh, they used to require icons. They said this year that there is a possibility that they would require icons. I don't know if I would expect it this early on unless they would drop a big name player. Like usually what it was in FIFA 18, if the SBC was over like 800K to a million coins is when they had an icon requirement involved because the icons were about like three, 400,000 coins um, in FIFA 18, I believe. They, they went up really high at one point, but uh, that's kind of what I would expect. If it's like 800K or above for an SBC, that's where I think they'd include an icon requirement. But then again, it's just a lot of high rated squads, right? 84s, 85s, 86s, 87s. So that's why a lot of people right now are invested in these players right here, SBC fodder. Now, of course, today on FIFA, we had the Bamba SBC that was released. This card right here coming in at 300K. 
Now it is a really good looking card, but this caused SBC fodder to drop for a, just a slight period. And then it actually got reinvested in and went back up. People bought those cards back when they got cheap because they are expecting more icon SBCs today. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about with the SBC fodder today. Two things are going to happen. One of two things. Here's uh, this is scenario number one, right? So scenario number one is right. A lot of these cards are inflated. They've gone back up a little bit. 87s were like 18K today at one point after the Bomba SBC was released, and now they're back to 20. So option number one is EA releases Icon SBCs that are lackluster in value or lackluster in hype, or there's no repeatable Icon SBC, or it's just some sort of Icon-related SBC that is not hype, all right? Uh, that's option number one. Or if they release nothing at all, that'd be option number one. And what would happen in that case is a lot of people that have invested in fodder, they don't like being unassigned. They don't want to continue to be unassigned and have loads of these cards in their trade pile. They're going to sell. They're going to take the loss. And a lot of these higher rated cards are going to drop, right? That's the worry. A lot of people have fodder right now and they're saying, hey, should I sell it before 6 p.m.? If you don't think the content's going to be good today, then maybe you just take get out and take some of your guaranteed profits. If you're already making coins in these cards, like if you bought these at 24,000 coins, which Harry Kane was 24, 23K like two weeks ago, and when people started buying this stuff, then you're already in the money. And you, you, maybe you just take your coins and you don't risk it, right? Option two is they released they released multiple icon SBCs that are very hyped that a lot of people want to do and or a repeatable icon SBC, like a baby icon upgrade. In that case, what I would expect is fodder to spike a little bit right away to kind of move up a little bit. And then everybody that invested would start selling those cards and probably would hinder the rise. Maybe even watch fodder prices go down a little bit because there's a ton of people that have invested in SBC fodder at the moment. Um, and you can actually see with new SBCs coming out, even if it's a really hype SBC, fodder could go up then it could move down and then it could go back up and boom. Once everybody sells all those investments for their profit, because people will start listing these high rated cards after 6 p.m. UK when the content comes out, regardless of whether there's SBCs or not, you're going to see people start to go on the market, list these cards up because whether or not they make profit, this is like their time they've been waiting for to figure out if they're going to hold or if they're going to sell and, and hopefully make coins. So they're like aiming in their minds that they want to sell at this time. So you could sell before if you want to take the guaranteed profit and take the no risk cash, I guess you could, you could put it as and make those coins there. Or you could kind of, uh, as said earlier tonight in the live stream, twitch.tv backslash the foot account and link in the description, we said holding your nuts and basically holding through the, um, the 6 p.m. content drop and seeing if a repeatable SBC would come out or hype icon SBCs would come out that would actually make fodder continue to rise up. Now, of course, without Mbappe player of the month, that made people panic sell today because that was another SBC that would have supposedly come out that would have required 88s, 89 rated cards, 87s, and those higher rated options. But instead, we got Bamba today that requires a lot more of like the 85, 86, still some of the higher rated ones, but there's not as much hype for that card because it seems very overpriced compared to what people were expecting. And they were expecting a Bappe or Benetta. So I think that kind of made people panic a bit today. So that's why, that's what I'm thinking could happen with the fodder market today. I know a lot of people wanted to talk about that. That's what I am thinking about. So of course, if we do have icons, let's talk about actual icons, if those cards come out today. And what I'm thinking we might see in terms of the footbin market, in terms of just, um, just like the, the icons and, and the panic selling and stuff like that. I think that with the rumors swirling around and a lot of people feeling that we're getting icon SBCs today, you're going to see panic selling on some icons. Now, of course, right now, the index is showing as I'm recording that the icon market is up. And that is true. Since rewards, icons have gone up. A lot of cards, um, you know, we look at these cards that are up in price. A lot of them were lower at rewards and people still bought icons, right? The whole market went up with weekend league rewards. If you follow the Thursday flipping investments video, you made some coins, right? GG's. But I think there's going to be some panic this morning, not only on icons, but I'm also expecting some panic on special cards. I really think so. The past two weeks, we've had panic on specials. And especially if there's any footwatch tweets or, you know, just some sort of leaks or speculation that there could be icon SBCs coming, then I feel like you would see some panic selling on this stuff. And especially since this is a totally different area than icons, right? If there is panic selling this morning and it is 
pretty big panic selling. Wrote to the final cards. Ruled, well, Lukaku was 370. He was literally 390 a couple hours ago. That's a flip and undercut, actually, as you can see here. That's not his true price. But if you see panic selling, right? Like, let's say this Lukaku's back at like 350, 360. Let's say Royce is like 420 again. Luke, uh, Pogba's like 920. Or maybe um, Di Maria is like 350, 340. You know, some of these drops on these cards are like, you know, 20 to 30 percent ish, like pretty big drops out of PAX Informs as well. That's when I would start to get interested. And I would say that even if there is icon SBCs that come today, if people are panic selling their teams that they're going to use for weekend league, a lot of people are going to have to go buy those players back because, yes, they may go do an icon SBC. Um, but let's say there's like an icon midfielder SBC that comes out. Let's say like Javi gets an SBC today, right? Uh, and you see this guy Zaha get panic sold from 240, 250, where he's at right now, all the way back down to like 220, 215. In my mind, I'd say that's a buy, man, because this guy is going to get bought right back up. There's no other striker icon SBCs that came out today. Um, or if even if there's a repeatable icon SBC, people go panic sell their teams to do the SBC, then they go buy some of those cards back. So that's where I would look to see if there is panic today. The only thing that I could see that would make cards be panic sold and that would make cause a lot of panic at 6 p.m uk and cause prices to drop even more uh would be some sort of sbc that is like incredible value that is repeatable like let's say a base icon upgrade that like costs really cheap like for some reason if ea really just wants to crash the market they make an sbc like 400k for a base icon upgrade that would be pretty interesting to me because the base icon upgrade in years past had been last year, actually. I think I have the SBC pulled up as well. Yeah, right here. And we looked at this in a video earlier this week, but this SBC was 500K right away and went up to 625. It was 83, 86, 86, and 87 rated squads. And the fodder went up like crazy because nobody was expecting it and it wasn't invested in, it wasn't over-invested at the start. It was just kind of dropped on us like this and the fodder went sky high. So I don't think fodder would make this big of a jump that we've been looking at in the past, you know, a couple of videos with the Black Friday preparation with SBC fodder. I don't feel like the fodder would really jump this high or all those SBC cards. I don't feel like they would jump that high. So if an SBC does come out like this, though, that's the only thing that I could say could actually crash the market today. There is a possibility for other flashbacks or other SBCs that are player SBCs that EA could put out. Um, but I'm just other than icons coming today. It's really just kind of like, what the heck's gonna happen? We're getting a new season, right? What usually comes with a new season? Just objectives. Um, now, again, people have mentioned icon swaps, but EA said that that's not coming out until later. So I'm not too worried about like objective content really messing up the game today. Again, unless EA has something up their sleeve that they're gonna pull a fast one on us today and like they're not giving us any information right now and we're gonna be really, really surprised. Um, today when we have the content drop so again some of the cards are already being you know they've kind of reached their peak from all the buyback from people buying the weekend league teams uh if you do still want to buy special cards for like your black friday investment i would say watch these cards as they go out of the weekend league it's going to be very interesting uh to watch some of those and to see where those prices go Again, if they get as low as last weekend, that's going to be something we'll be watching this weekend for sure. But at least for today on Friday, watch the panic selling in the morning. If you have SBC fodder, weigh your options from what I talked about in the beginning. Do you want to take the risk and hope they drop a big SBC or take the guaranteed cash? And if they don't drop a big SBC today and we see um, SBC fodder dropping a lot, that could be a beautiful time to get in on some of these cards as we head into... Um, if, or even if there's an icon SBC that comes out a repeatable that is maybe a little bit overpriced, but you see fodder just go down really, really low from all the panic selling, it might bounce back up. So we'll talk about some of that stuff after the, the release tomorrow or today on Friday and talk through some of those market movements as well. Now, again, icons, right? Let's talk one more specific part about actual icons themselves. If you do see panic on these cards today, right? Let's like, let's use Maka Lele for an example. This is a very hyped up icon, very used, right? This guy's been rising basically all year. He's kind of actually low right now, 760, 770. Conte hurt his price a little bit this week. But if you see 
cards like this, let's say Makalele gets an Icon SBC and you see a bunch of panic, right? Let's say right now he is a 750,000 coin card. The SBC, they put it out and it's a 500k SBC. It's actually really good value for a middle Makalele. You would see this guy crash, right? But then to a point, if the SBC is really good value and fodder drops and makes that price go lower, right? You can kind of like, you kind of have to gauge the SBC price versus the on the market price. And that's one, one difference that I wanted to show you from FIFA 18 and just point that out to you guys really quick was, this is the Del Piero Prime Icon SBC. It was costing first week about 1 million to 1.1 million coins. When the second set of SBCs came out, it went up to 1.3 during foot miss um, in FIFA 18, but about 1.1 million coins that first week. Now, of course, his card was not on the market before this because in FIFA 18, they put the cards out right away when the SBC was released. But his card maintained a price for the first couple weeks of like 1.6 to 1.7 million coins. Now, I know there weren't a lot of prime icons on there and his price kind of just dropped for the rest of the year. Um, but just kind of keep an eye on that sort of stuff because the tradable card on the market should be more expensive than the SBC. It should be more expensive. That's why the draw to the SBC is there. Now, of course, if EA prices an SBC at the same price as what the card is on the market, and it's a very, very hyped up card like a Makalele. Let's say the price is at 700,000 coins. Makalele in the morning, the SPC comes out, he gets panic sold. This card on the market gets panic sold down to like 650 or goes below what the SPC price would be in the first hour or so. I would expect a rebound because instead of people see that as, okay, I can go buy this card off the market for the same price or 50K more instead of having to go do the SBC and spend all that time doing the SBC and having an untradable card in the end. Maybe I don't want this guy for my team for the whole rest of the year. So the, the tradable value of the card should be a little bit higher than what the SBC cost is. Um, so that's kind of like a range and kind of a, I guess, like um, ground point that you can use for comparing the icon price on the market to the actual SBC when it does come out. So again, very interesting Friday today. I guess um, with the new season objectives, it's probably gonna be some more, there's gonna be more of these objectives that are in here as well. We didn't get a silver stars objective, so maybe we'll get another one of these today in the silver lounge. Of course, uh, Kunde is gonna go away. Malay is gonna go away. Uh, all of this stuff is basically, since there's no timer on all of this, it's gonna be expiring. Uh, when the season expires. So there should be a lot of objectives today. Um, I don't think maybe a player or two, maybe they'll drop another foundations player. We, we only have MLS. This is going away. So maybe they drop a new one of those as well. Um, we shall see. And of course, probably new TIFOs and new uh, stadium gear stuff inside of the season reward. So Hopefully no more loan Mbappe. We don't need any more of those. EA, you can get those out. Give us like a loan. I don't care. A loan somebody else other than Mbappe because I'm tired of seeing that dude. And I think we all are tired of seeing him in a friendly. So big question mark today for content boys. We might have a lot of cool stuff. We might kind of have a bummer of a Friday. So I'm really curious to see what happens. Of course, if there is not that much content, the less content we have, if there is panic selling in the morning, that's just more that the market goes up in the afternoon because people will sell those cards, realize there's nothing to do on the game, go buy them back and start playing weekend league. So that's something to keep in mind as well with the market today. But big question marks. Hopefully it's cool icon content from EA Sports today on FIFA 21. We'll find out though. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.